Dilation is the process of taking a shape or uh, a location and expanding or contracting the size or the um, position of those points or shapes to become something that's similar without being the same size. In other words, if we have, um, say, a triangle, and this triangle is three units on each side, and now we're going to dilate it by we call a k factor. The k factor is the scale that we dilate it by. Dilate it by a factor of two, then the new triangle would be the same shape, you know, making allowances for my lack of artistic ability, but it would be twice as big in each dimension. Now there has to be a k factor. In other words, it has to be, we have to know what that uh, relation to the original figure is, and we also have to know what the center of the original figure is, or the center of our uh, dilation, so that we know which direction uh, in order to expand things. In other words, if I were just going to expand this in this direction, then I'd go three farther this way, and I'd go three farther this way, and the whole figure would end up looking exactly the same, um, because this is the center here. In my particular example, I end up expanding each of the vertices of my triangle away from that center by a factor of two. So whatever this distance is here, I double it to get to the new one, and I take this distance here and double it to get to the new one, and so forth, so that I end up with my new figure, which is twice the size in each dimension. Now let's take a let's do another example here. We'll do a square. So suppose I had a square that was, we'll call it four on each side here, something like so. And we'll say that this is four units in each direction, and I need to dilate it by a k of one half. Well, if this is four units in each direction, and my center of dilation is the center of the square, then my new square would end up being positioned directly inside, and its dimensions would be two by two. Yeah, and if I were to label the sides of the original square, or let's label the vertices A, B, C, D, and then label the vertices of the new one E, F, G, H, I can either label them as separate figures or, assuming that I've come up with that middle square by a dilation process, what I can do is label it with a unit called prime, this little apostrophe figure here. And prime means that it's a copy. Now, the copy happens to be in a slightly different position, but it's still a copy of the original position or the original shape. So my new square, A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, is one half in each direction or in each dimension of the original figure. Now, in our example questions, we're going to do a number of different figures, and some that will get bigger and some that will get smaller. But generally speaking, if your k is greater than 1, the figure is going to get bigger. And if your k is between 0 and 1, so it's bigger than 0 but smaller than 1, in other words, if it's a fraction, then your new figure will be smaller than the original. All right? That's it for the concept.